When St. Dominic's mother was pregnant, she had a dream of a dog with a torch in its mouth, running around the world, setting everything on fire. She went to the monastery of Santo Domingo and asked a holy monk what it meant. He replied that the child in her womb would be a great preacher who would set the world ablaze with the fire of his words. In the Bible, there are passages that speak of the barking of dogs, meaning the preaching of God's word. Also, the watchdogs of the Lord are those who keep his sheep safe from the wolves and foxes. We as men are called to be vicious dogs, fast and intimidating, herding the sheep, leaders that prevent the weak from going astray, getting lost or devoured. As for the enemy, we will chew him apart to pieces. Video games and addiction to all kinds of technology in music and entertainment are wolves in sheep's clothing, imitations of the real thing. Why are boys attracted to video games? Because video games mimic the real world that boys are by God created to live and thrive in. Video games allow them to enter a world of danger and adventure, fighting in the outdoors. These are precisely the things that we as a society and the family end up keeping boys out of. Do we not keep our boys safe at home, domesticated, as if that is their natural habitat? To keep a boy constantly in his room is like keeping a lion in a cage. By being overprotective, we are saying to the boys, stay home boys, don't hurt yourself, don't experience the great world out there because it's not safe, it's dangerous, you're gonna get hurt. Stay home. So, the boys grow accustomed to the home. They're pampered in their air-conditioned rooms and look into danger and adventure in the only place they can find it, within the confines of suburbia, in watching superhero movies, action movies, and video games. Through music and entertainment, they can be made to act and pretend and feel like they're real men in the real world and that they are ready to face the world because they played a video game or watched a movie about courage instead of actually going outside into the real world to experience failure and success, challenges and accomplishments, friendship and rejection, all in the real world, which is where men belong by the design of God. <laughs>